Good morning, Adam Draycott here. Uh, you're watching a COVID conversation on Saturday the 13th of June and the time is uh, 20 past 10. Uh, Parish Council met last night, so there's a few things I need to share with you uh, in this update. Uh, the first thing I want to say that, uh, is about Bible studies. I understand uh, restrictions have eased even further regarding what we do in our homes. Uh, on the matter of Bible studies, uh, I'm going to start preparing Bible studies for Bible study groups uh, next week. I didn't do that for this week. It's still the daily Bible reading guide that I encourage you to do as individuals. But next week, uh, I'll give that a crack and uh, look forward to hearing about Bible studies re resuming and people gathering, reading the Bible together and praying. Uh, it's delightful. Remember, if you go to Bible study, uh, practice the, um, the principles of washing your hands, practice safe distancing, keep a note of who turns up in your home if you're hosting, uh, and remember, if you're sick, stay away. Please, we love you, but, but really, you, you need to heed that uh, advice, please. Uh, what is a vulnerable person is the next thing I want to uh, discuss because that might be a question from previous discussion. Uh, the Australian Health Protection Principle Committee, the AHPPC, defines vulnerable as people aged 70 years and over, people aged 65 years and over with chronic medical conditions, all people with compromised immune systems and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people over the age of 50 with chronic medical conditions. The AHPPC has stated that vulnerable people are at greater risk of more serious illness if they are infected with COVID-19. All right, there's that. that. And I think you'll understand that has shaped a lot of the decisions uh, the present mindset of Parish Council. Uh, again, they met last night as well as Tuesday night. Uh, so please be praying for our Parish Council as we continue to navigate uh, these troubled waters. Uh, pray for resilience and patience and wisdom and, uh, and strength and all of those good things. They've been working really hard and uh, we are right to be thankful for them. Uh, so what are the outcomes from Parish Council? Uh, we will be applying, uh, when I say we, that's a job for myself and Mike as our COVID-19 warden. We will be applying to the Bishop to open the church premises for youth group, Sunday school, seniors church service and MU. Of course, when those activities resume, and there will be a later announcement about that, uh, They'll have to operate within the confines of the diocese um, plan. And so they're not going to be able to have supper. You're not going to be able to have morning tea. You're not going to be able to share books. You're not going to be able to sing. Uh, all those restrictions that we talked about applying to a, a Sunday gathering, they are also true in the context of these events. What is Sunday school like without biggies and singing? I don't know. Uh, but there it is. Maybe they'll hum. Um, now you might say, but Adam, why not open the church doors on Sunday? Uh, Parish Council uh, are not of the mind to do that. They believe those things that we're opening, we want ministry to open up uh, slowly in a steady way. But they are all a, a completely different prospect to open the doors to all and sundry on a Sunday. Uh, uh, with youth group, with Sunday school, with seniors and MU, they are what we call a known quantity. We know those people, we understand the numbers, and the numbers aren't huge, uh, and so all, it's it's just not the same. And a lot of those events are infrequent. Uh, MU is every second month, and the senior service is once a month. So completely different prospect. Uh, so that's the answer. Uh, all right, I've got... One more thing, you'll see me on Sunday promote this 
this is just um, a help that I've offered. Uh, it's a Lord's Supper helps checklist. Uh, if you want one, it's in the let church letterbox. Swing on by, help yourself. It's a nice size card that fits nicely in your Bible. So if we're running church and uh, the preaching of God's word has happened and a confession has been given and it's the right time in the service, pause it. Uh, you don't need a lead from the service leader. Just pause it and uh, share the Lord's Supper together and eat and re drink in remembrance of Jesus Christ, our King and Saviour. And may you be blessed as you do that. That's all from me. Uh, the sermon is, the, the church service for Sunday is coming later on today. Um, so you'll see me Sunday. God bless.